Hi everybody, this is Sir Pierre, back again in the middle of the night with another unboxing, another day, another unboxing. Uh, I got a couple of packages today, I'm gonna wait with the other ones until tomorrow I think, but this one I wanted to do right away. Uh, to start this story, a couple of years ago, like six years ago, I sold a bunch of these, or I tried to sell a bunch of these sneaker uh, keychains. I had almost every Jordan drop ever. I had like bags with these keychains. And uh, one night I got the ID to combine my two interests, that is uh, watches and sneakers. So I made this one. Uh, I used bought a random clock uh, that I pretty sure was all black before. And uh, I got the key rings, I cut the loop off and I made this one for myself. Good enough, a bunch of residue etc. as you can see but I like it. Uh, and then, maybe two years later, these came to the market, the 3D uh, sneaker key rings. And I thought, oh man, I wanted to do a clock with these instead, or the, another clock with these. And uh, of course, somebody else uh, beat me to it. And uh, since then, I think, at least 100 person have tagged me and these uh, the company that sell these are called Hype Revier I think I pronounced it correctly I'll, I will post the link in the blog post in the, in the, in the description uh, so I just had to get me one I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn, turn the camera around and show you what it looks like uh, because what I was afraid of, because the package was damaged when I got it, uh, was that the clock was damaged. And yes, it is. Uh, but I can fix this. But the post office in Sweden are just terrible. So the package was dam damaged when I got it. Uh, but I'll get back to you. The clock is from Hype Revier, And they call it the Hype Beast Clock. Okay, sorry to see, but the clock was damaged in a couple of ways. Uh, and that's because of the post office. All of these are damaged and the corners are damaged. And uh, yeah, that's too bad. But as I said, is these, the, the 3D key rings that you use instead, or not key rings. And the nice thing with this clock is that you can change what kind of sneakers you want here. Uh, somebody maybe wants 12 Air Jordan 1 or 12 Air Jordan 6 or whatever. I wanted uh, 1, 2, 12, of course. So uh, they are very, very easy to install and uninstall. In this shoe, you got a small magnet. So you see, you can hear it at least. So that's the only thing that you need. So the small magnet, the plate, and that's it. So I'm gonna install the clock uh, or install the sneakers and show you what it's gonna look like when they're all in place. Super cool. And I think I'm gonna replace the sneakers uh, after a while. So uh, it's a nice and easy thing just to change up. Okay, installation is super easy. The magnet is strong enough just to hold the shoes in place. Uh, looks super cool, uh, really nice. The quality of the sneakers isn't at all as good as uh, Kicks Mini. I'll try to show you. Uh, the colors are not as good and the detail is not as good but uh, the pricing is way better. I think the Kicks Mini key rings are like 30 bucks and the whole clock cost me $150 maybe and I paid 
uh, taxes here in Sweden like fifteen dollars. So uh, yeah, super cool. Looks great. I'm really happy to to finally get it. I hope you like my video. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Uh, if you want to buy the clock, I'm gonna post a link in the description to Hyperavir. And that's it. Thanks. So here you have it in my other sneaker room. Uh, I turned the shoes the other way around. I think it's a little bit better like that. But the clock ticks very loud. So uh, I'm not sure where I'm gonna keep it. For the moment, it looks great here. But uh, we'll see.